So lucky me, this is the first message I get of the day today. Brown I'll be calling in and some of the highlights. Bro, the Jello ball was playing like a mud the other night, bro. I'm telling you, dude, put up 16 points in 16 minutes off the bench, bro. And he added two rebounds, two assists, two steals to that stat line, too, bro. Like, he was playing like a mud, dude. This would be crazy if he ends up on that team with Melo, bro. I'm telling you, it's going to be nuts. To which I naturally responded. Why don't you talk to my boys? Josh Hart and Kyle Kuzma about the value of being dope in the summer league. That's all I'm saying, bro. That's all I'm saying. Don't be out here getting too excited. So before I lose my ass again, betting against a ball brother to succeed in Charlotte, let's check the tape, shall we? So this isn't technically a highlight, but your boy gets a good ovation here, which it's going to come into play later with my analysis, but I don't think it hurts LiAngelo's position that people give a shit, you know? People are watching his summer league games. People are talking about it. He's got that famous name. His dad was there. All right, he runs off the screen really well, hits a contested three. There's nothing to complain about there. He's doing his job. That looked pretty impressive. All right, what do we got here? I believe this is a steal. Oh, this this is my favorite play right here. This is the kind of hustle play that I think uh, his experience helps get him. I mean, this is kind of lucky. Let's not let's not lie here. This is no Magic Johnson type play, but he sticks with it and gets a gets the lucky bounce. But you know what? You have to have some court awareness to pull that off. Here again. Open three in the corner. I mean, he's contested at the end, but that's just great ball movement. But honestly, if if this is all Leangelo does, I still think he's got a decent shot to make this team or a team good pass there. Nothing that blows you away, but it's the right pass. Like that, That's the move that he should make. Hits the open man with a good pass for an assist. Another at least decently contested corner three. So, I mean, this is what I've gathered from it. He's he's busting from three. I haven't seen many, uh, anything off the dribble yet. Yeah, here's another one. I mean, he's got all day, probably the hardest shot he took all day right here. So much time to think about it. But he knocks it down. So, yeah, I mean, there's not much to complain about. He's not doing anything to blow you away. He's playing like Danny Green right now, but... Danny Green's been in the league for how many years now? Winning championships? All right, so here's his second appearance for Charlotte. Look at that hustle coming from out of nowhere to come back and get the steal. So far, what I'm seeing, guys, is a 3 and D guy. That's what I'm seeing. Like, uh, oh, there's some off the dribble. Okay, yeah, he, gets, hey, he gets the gentleman's touch there. But that's a little bit more facilitating for himself. I haven't seen him take a single shot off the dribble so far through any of these highlights. So good to see that he's got it. Although I don't, I don't know that it'll be a strength early on. Here you get an offensive rebound. Is that a putback? Okay. Well, you got to give him credit there. Again, he just he feels like a decent bench player here. Chases his shot, gets his own rebound. Is that an and one? Great play. Sees that it's short. Paying attention, following his shot. Uh, dude, just a great play. He's looking good for a young cat. Look at that. Two games into the summer league, and Leangelo Ball is looking to make a roster spot in Charlotte. And I would have to say I like his odds as of now. Again, he's not blowing me away. I'm not seeing anything that makes me think he would start on this team or really any team but he's doing enough to potentially earn a roster spot and and you have to be honest with yourself if it's down to a final roster spot there's two guys that are up for it the skill levels are about equal and one is the rookie of the year's brother who happens to be a damn near nationally known name and the other one is just some guy then the odds are in Leangelo's favor. So 
honestly, at this point, I do expect him to make a roster, probably Charlotte's roster. But don't take my word for it. Let's hear what the man himself has to say about this. Yeah, I mean, I know it's just summer league, bro, but still, like, I'm, I'm excited to see what he does. Cause a lot of people forgot about Lajello, man. Like, he's got all the stuff, really. He was always one of the better ones. Like, I always thought he was kind of better than Lonzo. You know, before, like, when they were in high school, like, I always thought, like, you know, honestly, I thought Jello was the best of the three, for real. And then, like, he had that one instant in China throughout his college career, like, and he just kind of faded away. Like, people just wrote him off for real after that bullshit. So, I mean, but he's been working, man. He's been putting in the work this whole time. People are about to, about to see it, bro. I'm telling you, like, it's going to be, it's going to be nice to see. Like, I think he'll definitely earn a spot. If he keeps playing like he did. Like, there's no way he can not make it a spot somewhere. Like, even if it's not Charlotte, like, somebody's going to swoop him for real. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Sean B. for participating in our lively discussion. Like and subscribe if you want more lively ball brother banter. Because we certainly have that in store for you. As, as well as some off-season free agency draft trade grades. We're just going to grade off-seasons as a whole. And damn boys, don't look now, but football season is right around the corner. So, of course, I'm going to be breaking some of that down any time now. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. And in the meantime, we'll see you around. Man, did this dude just did this?